Hello, everybody. Andrea here. Let's talk about how much does an independent dental hygienist make? So a dental hygienist who is able to have her own dental hygiene practice, her own dental hygiene office. I'm a mobile dental hygienist, so I do something a little bit differently where I travel to patients' homes and clean their teeth, but I am an independent dental hygienist. I am allowed to have my own practice, so I do not work under a dentist. I'm allowed to do my dental hygiene duties, and I do not have to work under a dentist. Depending on where you live, where you're located, you may or may not be able to have your own dental hygiene practice. So please check your rules and regulations first. But if you're curious, or if you're thinking about starting your own dental hygiene practice, either in your own office, like having a standalone practice or a mobile office, I can help you with that. So I have an office in my own home. So I can have a dental hygiene office, if you will, in my own home, but it's just one room. But 99, 95% of my patients, I see mobile in their home. So that's what I'm going to talk about specifically. I can't really tell you what a dental hygienist makes having her own standalone practice because I don't know that because they would have different expenses than I would have. They would have to pay for their office building. They would have to pay rent or whatever, which I just don't have. So I'm going to talk about primarily my expenses and just overall, how much can a dental hygienist make having her or his own dental practice? So this is where it gets kind of not tricky, but it truly depends on what you want to do. If you want to work full-time, part-time, how many patients do you want to see? What procedures can you offer? So I am a restorative dental hygienist. So I can place amalgam fillings. I can place composites. I can cement crowns, bridges. There's a number of duties that I can do that other dental hygienists cannot do. You have to be a restorative dental hygienist, for example, to place fillings. So I do that as well. So my income might vary a little bit. Um, than that dental hygienist who isn't a restorative dental hygienist. But to give you a ballpark, okay, so for new patients, depending on what you're doing, are you doing a dental hygiene exam? Are you performing a scale, whether it be one unit, two units, three units, or four units? Um, in Ontario here, a unit is 15 minutes. So is it one, two, three, or four? Um, are you doing a polish? Are you applying fluoride? Um, so those all make a difference. For my dental hygiene appointments, I do a dental hygiene exam. I do a scale, usually three units or four units per person. I do a polish on everybody. I apply fluoride on most patients because I am pro fluoride all the way. Um, I call it vitamins for the teeth. I will also apply a desensitizing agent if they have cold sensitive teeth, which most people do, or they have gingival recession. So that is something extra that I can offer. Um, what else do I do? And I do also charge a mobile fee of $20 when I'm going to patients' homes. So for a patient, it could be anywhere from $200 a person upwards to $400 in some cases. If it's a new patient exam where I haven't seen them before, we do have to do a new patient exam. So I look inside their mouth. I take pictures, not x-rays, but I take photos inside the mouth. I look at every single tooth one by one. That takes time, maybe about 20 minutes. And I look at what that tooth needs. Um, does it have a filling? Does it have gingival recession? Do they have gum disease? So a full new patient exam that costs more than if I'm seeing somebody every six months and I know their history, I know their gum disease per se, so it's different. So per person, I would say on average, it could be anywhere from 200 to $400 a person. Um, and then if there's any extras that I'm doing. So that's per person. If I'm seeing eight patients a day, do the math. Usually I see two patients a day. Um, if it's a family, I might see five patients, but do the math. It adds up. So a lot of people ask me, is it worth it having your own practice or is it better working under a dentist? It's absolutely worth it having my own practice because in, in your office where I used to work, I made about $35 per hour. 
Now I'm making $200 or $400. What's better? I don't even think you have to do the math. $200 or $400 per hour versus 35. Huge difference. But I do have expenses being a business owner, but the expenses aren't thousands of dollars per month. It could be anywhere from $200 a month to $1,000, depending on what I need to purchase. But as a dental hygiene business owner, you typically purchase everything in bulk. So masks, bibs, gloves, um, profi pastes, um, your high speed, um, slow speed attachments, you know, things like that. You don't have expenses of that magnitude, like thousands of dollars per month. So it's definitely manageable. I am now incorporated. So I do have expenses with that um, every year. I do have to maintain, of course, my dental hygiene license, my specialty license. So there's expenses with that. Having my own dental hygiene business, there's another fee on top of that. But I go through all of the fees. I go through all of this in a course that I do teach. So I have a mobile RDH Academy course where I go through all of my expenses. I go through all of my income. I go through everything you need to know. Step one, including a business plan for starting your own mobile dental hygiene practice because that's my specialty. I'm a mobile dental hygienist. So if you want to learn more, definitely check out my course mobile rdh academy i'm going to leave the link for you down below i go through everything this barely touches the surface but is it worth it you guys absolutely i could never work for somebody else again do i make enough money yes absolutely and i work part-time so i do not see eight patients a day i typically go to one house a day maybe two I see two patients a day, maybe five, depending on my schedule. And I do not work every day. I take two weeks off, usually per week. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I take a full week off. So that's not me working 24 seven, by the way. So I teach dental hygienists how to start their own business, but also how to have a successful business and to avoid burnout and how to make a full-time income working part-time. So that's what I do in my mobile RDA academy course so let me know you guys if you have any questions but just to quickly mention make sure that you look up your rules and regulations depending on where you live not all dental hygienists are allowed to have their own practice so look that up first um if you are sign up for my course you have full access for life it is constantly updated as i do bigger and better things as I get newer technology, all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if any questions, please click like to this video that does help me continue to offer free content and make sure to subscribe as you will know about new videos coming up sooner than anybody else. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all very soon and have a great day.